So if you'll take a second, look at the plan. Well, you will see what I see. And that's money. Not our money. Oh, mama, I'm in fear for my life from the law. Can you talk about how it, how it came about in the first place? It, it, it is sort of inspired by uh, real life in some ways, right? Teddy and uh, Michael Nozick developed the script for a long time. I was really lucky to get a hold of it. And I read it, and, and they, they had Matthew McConaughey, and I just was like, oh, my God, this is like the perfect story for him. And, and what's super unusual about it is... I don't want to give too much away, but it, it, it really is like what happens, you know, you have this dream, you're going to achieve it. You don't think you will really, but then you do like much faster than you expect. And then what happens? And uh, I just, I love that. It's a weird, it's a very unusual structure in a way. Right here. Indonesia. That's where we'll find the gold. And it really is an adventure movie at that point. Ab absolutely. Uh, he hooks up with this kind of mysterious mining engineer. Uh, they go up the river in Borneo, and they go, you know, they go looking for gold the old-fashioned way. And um, it definitely, it definitely harkens back to some of those, my, at least my favorite, like John Huston films, you know, Treasure or maybe African Queen. It was one of those shoots where we we tried really hard to beat monsoon season, and because of Matthew's schedule, because of the amount of prep time that we needed. Uh, we decided that we had to push it a little bit. And we're like, well, maybe we'll split the difference on when monsoon season actually starts. And uh, so it was great. Day one was fantastic. We had this big mining camp set up in the mountains of, of Thailand in the deep south. And day two was pretty good. And then it started raining. And then it just kept raining. And then we realized we were right next to a river. Uh, and then we put a stick in the river to see how quickly it was rising. And then by day four, it had r risen 35 feet and swallowed our entire set. And day five, Steve and I were canoeing over our film. It really was so perfectly gold <laughs> because everything was going right and then it all got fucked up. And, uh, and, and, it's, and it's there in the movie in the best of ways where no matter how bad things get, no matter how high things go, you're smiling, you're enjoying the ride, it's an adventure and you never know what's around the next turn and it was our experience making the movie and it's your, gonna be your experience watching the movie and it's a ride. We believe you're sitting on the largest gold find of the decade. We're talking over $30 billion. <laughs> Brilliantly held together, too, by Matthew McConaughey, who does, I think, the opposite of what he did with Dallas Buyers Club. I mean, he put on all this weight, he went bald and everything, and it, it's another hell of a role. It's one of those things where you almost feel like you never met Matthew uh, because he came to set as Kenny Wells. He stayed in character the whole time. What was beautiful about it was, you know, there's a lot of times where actors do things for recognition and for notice and this was purely in service of the character and uh, it's really you know it's Matthew's favorite film ever that he's that he's made and a performance that is just unlike anything we've ever seen. Yeah. The thing that Matthew created like the weight was the absolute last thing to come on you know it, it started with this whole history of like where this guy came from, what sports he played in high school, what injuries he had in high school, what his driving record is like, where he went, you know, everything you could possibly imagine, you know, the accident he had that caused his teeth to get messed up and the money he didn't have to get the good dental job, so he compromised and got the strip mall dental job and now he's a little self, you know, it just, all of this is happening for months, you know.